everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing 50 random facts with you guys, just so you guys can get to know me a little bit better. Some of these you might already know, some of them you might not. If you guys aren't subscribed already, please click that subscribe button down below. I promise you guys won't regret it. And let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm gonna try to keep track of how many facts I am saying so that I can have 50 random facts for you guys. So, fact number one, I am a cancer baby. I am a moon child, born in June, end of June to be exact, June 26th. You get where I'm going. So that means that I am very emotional. I am a family person. Fact number two, that's how I am 5'2", so I'm very short. I guess this will type back three as well. I do get that I look like I'm in high school, sometimes even middle school. And I mean, where I work, you have to be at least 18. So, I mean, as nice as the compliments are, it's like, nah, I wouldn't be working here, you know? Let's see, fact number four. I was born in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. So I am a country girl at heart, very deep down. I really don't listen to country much anymore. Some of it's okay, but I do like going horseback riding and stuff like that. And I do kind of prefer country over city, in a sense. Sometimes, minus the bugs. I don't like bugs. So it would probably have to be like on the edge of the city is my type of scene. So I'm close to the city, but I'm not in the city, if that makes any sense to you guys. My decor style is vintage meets modern, if that makes any sense to you guys. I really like my room and stuff looking modern, but I like adding those vintage pieces. It really just pulls everything together. I am very passionate about animals and trying to prevent animal cruelty the best that I can by purchasing, you know, with my makeup, I like to try to keep it as much cruelty free as I can. I used to want to be a, a veterinarian growing up as a kid and then I got older and I realized that that's a little too gory and I don't want to cut open cute animals. So I'd rather help them in other ways. I sign petitions when needed, like the dog festival in China. I am totally against that. I understand like cultural differences. It does bother me the fact that NARS went from cruelty free to not cruelty free just so they can expand their market in other countries. I think that is beyond messed up. It's like you're taking 10 steps back when you do that. Like, come on. There's so many other methods to testing products instead of testing them on animals. So yeah, I'm just baffled. Mm -hmm. um, I honestly believe that animal agricultural is going to be the reason why humans will go extinct in the future. I've watched quite a bit of documentaries. Cowspiracy is a really good one if you guys want to check that out. It just really talks about not so much veganism, but the flip side of how it's affecting our environment and everything like that. So I think that would be really cool for you guys to check that view out of animal agriculture. That's like a tongue twister. It's like really hard to say for me for some reason, but... I have three brothers, one sister, and they all live in Oklahoma. I do miss them a lot. I got a niece and nephew as well, so I'll have to go back and visit them sometime soon. I love everything Audrey Hepburn. I love all the movies that she's been in, and she was even an ambassador for the UNICEF. I believe it was UNICEF. I honestly do believe that she was an amazing woman. And you know, she wanted to be a dancer and then she dabbled into acting. She wasn't the best actor, but I enjoy watching her to be honest. You know, coming up with 50 facts, kind of hard. It's like, I've always been passionate about art, whether it is guitar, poetry, drawing, and now makeup for me. I think this is like the strongest form of art that I am connected to. And I really do love expressing myself through makeup. It's just really a nice outlet. I used to always just wear like foundation and mascara in the beginning of high school. But senior year, I kind of started filling in my eyebrows a little bit. Not the best, obviously, but I started filling them in. So that would be when I actually started experimenting with makeup. And then over the past few years, I've been like experimenting with eyeshadow techniques and stuff like that. And then last year, January 2016 is when I started really doing like intensive like research on techniques and stuff like that and really improving my skills. 
And then around Christmas of 2016, January of this year, I started taking my channel and my social media and everything more seriously with my makeup. And my goal is to make it to the top with everyone else. And I want to have my own cosmetics brand and I want it to be vegan so that everyone can use my products and as organic as possible. That's my ambition for my brand. I hope to get there one day soon. And it's going to be because of all your guys' amazing support. It just seriously means so much to me and I can't thank you guys enough to be honest so thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you I have two scars on my face that are quite funny stories to be honest this one was when I was about in first grade and I was trying to show my friend how to swing a golf club I'm pretty sure you guys all know where this is going so I'm showing her how to swing it and then I, I step back and I'm like watching her and I'm like no 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 like I don't know why I think I was some pro person or whatever just because my dad did golf and I thought like I know how to do this I know I honestly suck at golf but as she was swinging back I was going to like stop her to like give her instructions and what she was doing wrong and she swung up and clacked me right here on the forehead and I had to get it stitched up with that stitching glue and that's how that happened and then in fourth grade for this one right here I was on a pogo stick that didn't have the rubber stopper on the bottom and so I'm like pogo stick and I'm like yeah I got this yeah trying to act like some badass on a pogo stick basically so I'm bouncing on a bouncing and I'm like getting like higher bounces you know how people like try to compete like oh I'm a better pogo sticker than you so there's this little freaking pebble that I pogo on and it slips and I fall and I hit my head and I black out and everyone supposedly was just laughing at me the worst thing in the world like I'm out here unconscious and y'all are laughing at me and then two minutes later or a few minutes later my friend's dad comes to come pick me up and I guess someone went to go grab my dad and then yeah he transferred me to my dad and my dad cleaned me up and put a band-aid on it <laughs> and this one is the one that actually fractured my skull so I do have a fracture in my skull here but we never went to the doctors or anything for it pretty interesting story huh the first dog I ever owned, I named her Barbie and she was a chihuahua and the first rabbit I ever had I named him Elvis the first movie I ever fell in love with, kind of like my childhood movie, and I still love it to this day, and it's Twister. It actually took place in Oklahoma City, and it's about these or tornado chasers trying to come up with this device that's going to help alert everyone sooner when a tornado is coming, and I think like track them as well, like track where they're going, if that makes sense. That is my all-time like childhood favorite movie, and it's still my favorite movie to this day. Cow! Another cow. Actually, I think that's the same one. You guys will know if you've seen it. Why is this so hot, Julie? Why is this so hot? Harley Quinn is one of my favorite Marvel characters. I just hate how the Joker always treated her so horrible in the cartoon show. But I do think Margaret Robbie did an amazing job portraying her. In my opinion, I actually enjoyed watching Suicide Squad, and it's one of my current favorite movies, along with Oh my goodness, Wonder Woman was so freaking amazing, you guys. It's just seriously so inspirational and I really loved it. And if you guys have the chance to watch it, I honestly recommend watching it. It's so good, you guys. And my freaking boyfriend over here trying to ruin it. You know, when she like jumps up and like, you know, her like super jump or whatever. And then my boyfriend's like, <laughs> no, he's trying to ruin the movie for me, you guys. I'm over here like crying like tears of inspiration and he's over here making fart noises like dude nah I honestly think Yorkies are probably like one of the best dogs that I've ever had even though they do bark a lot and it's so freaking annoying he just likes to cuddle with me all the time like he's in my lap right now he just likes to cuddle so much which I'm completely fine with because I like doing the same thing and he probably gets annoyed at me <laughs> But seriously, he's so easy to train and he listens so well and he knows probably 10 tricks, so not too shabby. And he takes super good care of his toys, like it takes him like two years to like destroy a toy, like completely. My favorite color is like that vintage pink, like it's like a very faded baby pink, if that makes sense. Like that's like my all time like favorite color and I just love it so much. My favorite candy bar is a Hershey's 
cookies and cream. I just think they're so yummy and delicious. I also like Snickers too. Those are delicious. I probably prefer chocolate cake over vanilla cake any day. Any day, you guys. Chocolate cake is my favorite and it is edible. My favorite ice cream. I really like cookie dough ice cream and I also like cookies and cream ice cream or drumsticks. Drumsticks are freaking amazing. You don't have to get a bowl out, you don't have to get a spoon out. It's just a sundae and a cone. Ooh. Oh my god, my legs are asleep, you guys. I am currently studying business management so that I can start my own cosmetics brand. So that's going pretty well so far. I really like it. And the I do work in the financial industry and I'm trying to apply for a cosmetics job soon. So hopefully everything goes well with that. As you guys all know, Jaclyn Hill is my all-time idol. I seriously freaking adore her and she is an inspiration to me and someone that I look up to a lot. Now I do have a handful of favorite YouTubers that I do love watching. There's Kathleen Lights, Laura Lee, Jeffree Star, Manny MUA. So those are just a few that I really love and enjoy watching a lot. Morphe is probably one of my all-time favorite brands that is so inexpensive compared to other brands and the quality is just amazing in my opinion. Brushes or eyeshadows and I think they're really stepping up their formula game a lot compared to their like older palettes. I do have five tattoos. I do plan on getting more, probably a whole lot more. I'm not sure how far I will go if I want to cover my whole body or not, um, but I do plan on getting, getting probably a handful more, so. My teeth used to be my biggest insecurity. I never went to the dentist at all through the first 18 years of my life. I know that's freaking weird and I don't really understand why I was never taken to a dentist. But once I graduated, I did take it upon myself to go to my first dentist appointment, get my teeth cleaned, get some cavities filled. And you know what's really shocking is I only had five cavities out of the whole 18 years of not ever being to a dentist, which I think in a sense is kind of good for the most part, considering I thought I would have probably had more than that. Just because I did eat a lot of chocolate and soda. Yeah, I was pretty surprised here that I only had five cavities. And then got my braces all by myself and I only had them on for a year and nine months. And now I have these wonderful teeth and I did get my teeth whitened because yeah, those did not look pearly whites at all. So when I got my teeth whitened, we went up five shades. That's the shade that I wanted and I thought looked the best. I haven't been keeping up with my whitening as much as I'd like to, but I think I'm gonna whiten them again soon. And now my teeth are one of my favorite things and I'm just obsessed with looking at it because I had to stare at my ugly teeth for 18 years. If I can find a picture, I'll insert it here so you guys can see my before and my after picture. I think I have one somewhere, hopefully. It was just so horrible before, and now I just feel so much confident now that my teeth are fixed. So I think that was about 50 facts or so, more or less, but around 50. If you guys liked getting to know me a little bit better, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because I do post twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays for you guys. Comment down below two facts about yourself so that I can get to know you guys as well, and you guys have an amazing day. Peace out.